Hello everybody, welcome back to Third Age Total War Divide and Conquer and believe it or not this is now the third attempt at recording this episode. Um, in the previous two attempts I fought at the Battle of Algaia and on both occasions after winning the battle and ending the battle, load screen comes up, it gets to this point Lord where you know it does the whole, you see the enemy captain guy die in the city and um, as soon as it did that, the game would crash saying that it encountered an unspecified yes. error. So this time I am literally just gonna auto resolve it. Still Glory, won. Honor, victory. A most noble awesome. conquest. Your order, Fortunately, twice that has occurred today. Over the lands. Not Ships very impressed, ready. but oh well. Okay, so we now have Elgaia. Um, in the end of the last episode, I mentioned my plans about moving some forces from Ilanin down to Santanui because I'm going to go across over to Carverad. How far can I move the spy over? Quietly, mm, up to about quietly, there. So he's still within range of Carverad. And we got a bit more of an early warning in case any armies come across from this direction, seeing as there is a large army right here. I will not waste words on you. Um, so next turn I should have some new roads. I doubt those roads are going to be heading in this direction So what I will do is send my general with these troops down this way tomorrow. And the reason why I'm sending them with my general rather than just sending them on their own in a captain army is because I don't want anything to go wrong with this plan um, my Lord. If you've played medieval 2 or medieval 2 kingdoms, you'll know that there are there is a it's not very not very often at all but there ha there is the possibility, the very small possibility that if you sense like a single unit from one settlement to another without a general and it was just a captain, there is a possibility of him becoming a turncoat. Now there's too many troops Orders. here really to worry about that, but um, because it's a possibility, I don't want to risk losing anything. So, um, so that's all good. I don't think there's actually anything else I can do. It was literally just that battle at Elgaia. Tried to fight twice. Games crashed twice. So, we'll just end the turn and see what happens. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Coming up to summer and I'm already starting to get a cold. It's not very nice at all. <coughs> so, I do apologise. I may be clearing my throat on occasion. Not that it's any different to my past videos. I'm sure you guys will agree. Um, I don't know why I, I just can't help that whenever I do commentaries because I'm talking quite a bit all of a sudden my throat feels irritant and I have to cough and it's something I try to resist and try not to do but oh hello the time has come for Dewinian to choose to join the struggles of this world or not. Our wealth is almost unmatched, unlikely, and our warriors have great experience in the cause of war. Of course they do. But do we fortify our borders and develop our diplomatic relations with our neighbours, or do we strike at those that have sought to raid our lands? Just as the rivers find the seas, war will find us. But do we seek to circumvent it or choose to embrace it? By pressing accept, you will see Dewinian focus on trade and politics to achieve our goals. Pressing decline will start the process of militarization for the realm, encouraging local armies and improving our equipment. Oh, yeah, military. I'm going to be an aggressive son of a bitch in this campaign. Right, let's see. Any of these buildings can I remove? Leather worker. Gives me a bit of a bonus in income. Trade. Meeting hall. Does anything affect... No, it doesn't. Okay. So all we need to do is get our culture up. Right, I'm building that building. Oh, I didn't see what the other buildings were. Oh, I didn't see yes, what the other completed ones were. This tower will keep vigil over the lands. Ships ready. Ships ready. Oh, another spy. Yes, please. Bring him in from the, from the north as well. That'd be brilliant. That's actually pretty good. Right, okay. So I know there was a port built over here. No, roads were over here. And you can see there's stone roads now. But none of them are heading in the direction of the castle I need to. It's a shame. So I can get heavy troops. Let's get one heavy troop there. 
I'm making a little over 2,000. I just bought that unit, so it's actually gone down to under, under 2,000. But it's a little over 2,000 I'm making a turn. Uh, capital. Do I... Retrain... Yeah, I bet. I bet. I guess I better do it. Okay. Lest. What's this building? Number of free upkeep units three. Can't only have two. Guess an additional one can't hurt. Let's do that. Twenty-one hundred. Four turns. That army has not moved. Thank God for that. My lord. Right. Your will, my put lord. These guys into that yes. fort. Orders. Get the general back there. Oh. My lord. There's no watchtower over here apparently. Erecting a watchtower. Oh God! Look at all these mercenaries. Jeez, I could just send a mercenary force against Carverad and see how much damage I can do. <gasps> oh, that's a good idea. That's an interesting thought. Although it's going to be bloody expensive. But it would only be for a couple of turns. I could just send a mercenary force and do whatever damage I could. Then send my army in. <gasps> Ooh, that's interesting. Ooh, okay. Okay, okay. Um... Hmm... Four turns until I can build another catapult, plus three to recruit. So seven turns total. I think I'll send a catapult with the mercenaries. So that mercenary, that will, yeah. Okay, ooh, that's, ooh, 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 I'm excited now. I have a plan. I have a new plan to put into pa into action. Ships ready. This arm is pretty battered. If I can get your orders, my lord. some troops down. Your will, my lord. My lord. Ships ready. Definitely a crossbow yes, being one of them. Lord. But Your I'll will. do it. Ships ready. Once. Let's bring my fleet up here. A fine General and a crossbow. Orders. Not my experience. I'll leave my experience one in El Gaia to help defend my it. Lord. Yes, my lord. Put my general, my crossbow. Orders. My ballista. Yeah. Set sail. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I'm so excited to see if this plan will work. I really hope it does. <laughs> I really hope it does. Can't believe I never thought of that before. Just send in some mercenaries first. I mean, even if I sent them with a general, if things don't go well and I have to retreat, I can always tell my general to, to run for it. Mission success. Three units of Blawn Bladesmen. Thorn Bladesmen. Blawn Thadesmen. What am I talking about? Your will, my lord. 2200 a turn I'm making. These guys. Ooh, actually. Um, Your will, my let's lord. get rid of the vineyard shield bearers then. And I'll retrain. Just two units for the moment. So then all the all the upgraded troops I have except for the farmhand archers will be taken to attack Bursagath. Orders. Now, so I can get them there. Yes. If I go across the border, We're is it the same? The it's not. So As it can only wish. be in this region here. Yes. Okay, so next turn I'll do it then. In fact I'll send them with this general. My Might lord. as well. Um so that's nearly finished. There's a lot of troops there, but those act those mercenary axemen can do a lot of damage. Ships ready. Combining naval forces. Your orders, my lord. My lord. Taking the troops ashore. As you Maintain command, siege. We shall so they get a two little bonus yes. troops as well. Ships ready. Ships ready. 
Breaking from the fleet. Um. Yes, my lord. Orders, my lord. Your will, my lord. By your command. Send these guys back over there. Hopefully, there's no your orders, my lord. Enemy army. Oh, I can actually recruit mercenaries here. No, I need to save my money for the battle I'm going to do up here. Okay. Uh, these mercenaries, orders. however, not free upkeep yet. So I've got 5,000. As long as I don't buy anything this turn, I should have enough money next turn to buy all the mercenaries. Hopefully. And then we'll see if I have enough to keep to maintain upkeep. Even if it's only for a couple of turns. I'll probably be losing money to the upkeep of those mercenaries. But if it's only for a couple of turns... Oh, shoot. We are disgraced. Fall back and retreat. Oh, shoot. Back from the walls. It's just this guy. Uh. We'll fight Must this one, we'll see how it goes. Men. We march into battle. Oh, dearie, dearie me. I should have seen that coming. I don't know why I didn't. I did say I hope there isn't an army nearby. Because I remember they were, they were sent one over that way. After my first failed attempt at taking Mistrand. And I didn't learn my lesson. Okay, so I want high ground. This will do nicely. can't hide generals, can you? <clears throat> uh, right, archers there, crossbows. Oh, I forgot I had spikes. Right, put them in front of this right hand flank. guys apparently have gold armor so hopefully they'll be okay there's no upgrades on their armor that you can see or that I can see uh, to be fair I don't even remember what they look like at the start so unless that is an armor upgrade did they just have like colored cloth or did they actually have those leather van braces I don't know I don't remember are in range. Good, good. So we're getting some shots on these guys down here. Bad. Archer, 
Then my crossbows deal with the clan hunters. That was a good hit there. Archers pull back here. Infantry move up. Because incoming cavalry. Oh! What the fuck happened to his horn? <laughs> right, let's send our general around. Right. You guys hold fire. Actually, aim for the clan guard down there. Right, head out to the flanks, head out to the flanks, archers, move, move, move. Pray something changes in the course of battle, for defeat seems almost certain. Archers. archers. Bows, archers. Alright. Aim for them. You archers. Head around to the flank. Crossbows. Fire. Actually, loose formation. Hurry up. Step hunters, go, oh, go for the step hunters. Nice. Took out a few of them. Cavalry pull back, pull away, not pull back, <laughs> pull away. General is still going over here. Trapped, you stupid son of a bitch. Ooh, ooh, look at that maneuver. Look at that maneuvering. Right, archers. We've got to here, crossbows. We're getting peppered. Let's pull back. Bodyguard, turn around, charge them. We can take care of this captain. Yes. There goes the captain. Got him. Right. The enemy are badly bloodied. So they have lost they run out of ammunition. Double time. Double time. Right. Archers. Shoot them. Crossbows. I don't know what these guys are doing actually. Crossbows aim for that clan hunter unit there. 
Point blank firing. <laughs> Just aim here in the middle. Screw it. Pray something changes in the course of battle, for defeat seems almost certain. Routed them. Enemy clan guard moving down. Why aren't you firing, damn it? Just refusing to do anything I say. Is that how it is? I've wiped out 61% of their army. Now you fire, really, after our infantry just got wiped out. Right, I need to try and save my archers over here. Pray something changes in the course of battle, for defeat seems almost certain. We've got these guys. Charge into them, please. Okay, so we've routed them. Move across the line. We're going to save our archers on the other side. Those guys are broken over there. Full speed. Full speed. Boom. How many did we run down? From 94 down to 54. So about 40 men we just wiped out. Run down some of these routers so they don't come back. But only half our force remains. Right, just routed them. These archers favor. pull back. From such tidings does victory emerge. General's winded. Thought he'd be tired by now. Normally, in, in games like Attila and stuff, they'd be winded. They'd be tired. All right, crossbows. You can close ranks and reform here. General's doing okay at the back there. Spikes didn't really do anything to protect our flank, other than stop the enemy cavalry from charging us. Instead, they just hit our right flank, though. Well, they might. To be fair, my vineyard guys held out for a while. Largely in thanks, I imagine, to the armor upgrade, but never mind. Right. Put the cross over here. Need to go save our archers again. Behold how our cowardly foe ran. Awesome. It's time to press the attack. See how many of these guys we can run down. Wow, I can't believe we actually survived that. We lost three quarters of our army, though. <laughs> Clan warriors there, 17 of them. We're gonna get those last three. Go, 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 go. Ah, this is a clear victory. 372 I lost. So a lot of my troops were actually just wounded. Wow, okay. I'll take that. Fine. <laughs> That suits me just fine. No. 
Yeah. Uh -oh. Apparently they didn't like me winning that battle. <laughs> They're moving some troops up. Canada for adoption. How much are making? Nearly four grand. Can we spare it? Fifteen hundred from the council. That's probably why it's that high. <laughs> Standing stone to El Guy constructed. Right, let's go deal with all that first. Your so, large army. To the Small garrison. Uh, couple of emergency troops there. Unless I was too. Lock the bridge and then hit them from behind with this army, which I'll do in a second. Yes, my lord. Oh gosh. Uh, right. Ships ready. You'll get ships ready. Bring them back to yes, port. Merge them. Joining forces. Uh, orders. Leaving the army. Marching Oops. to war. Your orders, my lord. There we go. Assembling a mighty host. Right. Minus four thousand. Ooh. As you wish. We have marched our limit, my lord. Three ninety six, three ninety six, da 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 da. Your will, my lord. My lord. As you wish. This is gonna be a very expensive plan. Right. To battle. Loki Khan. So this is the king. A rune. <coughs> hmm. Kind of tempted to try and auto resolve it. But I may end up having to fight it. So what I'll do is I'll save the save it here. And I'll carry this on into the next episode. Thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you then.